Welcome back everyone and welcome back Ella. Hello. In this vlog I'll be discussing my second date with JD. I'm really excited about this. Why is that? Because the last time you went on a second date was with Leighton and since I believe JD is better than him I really want to hear how it went. Okay fair enough. Now I'm not much of a beer person but the tasting was really cool. You know me. I like trying new things. Plus it was a better date all around because we were more comfortable with one another. So have you been talking a lot? Yeah, pretty much every day, I think. What's that face for? I'm just really glad things are working out. Okay, well, I don't want you to be too optimistic about it all. Why not? Because I'm not in a relationship with him. Yet. I meant what I said about keeping things casual. All right, all right. Plus, I'm well aware that I'm still working on letting myself open up again. I've told JD a little bit about Leighton and that I'm not ready to really commit yet. Even after a couple months? Yeah. You guys don't get to see it because I only record a portion of my week, but I let Leighton in quite a lot. So I still need time to recover from that burn. I'm nearly healed, but I really did like him a lot. Casual it is. Thanks for understanding. Of course. I'm young. It's time for me to explore all my options. Speaking of options, what's next for you then? I actually set up a date with Have Some Fun 192. Mm -hmm. His Ember profile says, maybe you just need some spoiling and support. That sounds caring. Yeah, he's super nice. I'm 80% optimistic about it. Why 80%? I'm a little worried he could be overbearing. Oh, what do you mean? He messages me a lot. Oh, you guys don't exchange numbers. No, I don't exchange numbers until after the date or if we've been talking for more than a week. It mm. makes it easier to block them. That makes sense. Back to my date. Ember is super glitchy. So when he sends me message after message, it freezes up the app. He's one of those people who sends multiple messages rather than one long one. Ugh, the worst types of people, honestly. I agree. Like, just get it out in one shot. I don't need a million messages clogging up my phone. Mm -mm. And your dick pic tally. A solid four. Seriously gross. <laughs> so I couldn't really say this in front of Ella because she sees JD as a friend, which is fine. Friends date friends friends. That didn't really make sense. JD is really nice and funny, but there's something about him that bugs me. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm not 100% into him. He seems understanding, but also a little pushy. Like, he picked the last two places we went out to, and he wants to pick the next one. While it is nice to not have to make all the decisions, I don't know if I can handle having the decisions being made for me. I don't know. It could just be me judging too much. He wouldn't be friends with Eddie and Ella if he was this much of a controlling person. So we'll just have to see, internet. 